So that right there is the middle rule. If we ever have a base where, where it's the log of the base of 1, then it's always going to equal 0, and we can show that as well. Because if we change this into exponential form, we would have 1 equals b to the power of 0. And notice on this, it doesn't matter what the base is. Anything to the power of 0 is 0. And... Uh, <laughs> Notice the base and then the log of the base, the same base, they just canceled out. So you just end up with X. No, this this stuff is not 980. So let's evaluate A. Well, this one's kind of like the last one we just did, right? And looking at the rule, this is like rule number two, where the base and the answer are the same, but it had an exponent. So this one is just equal to four. And then this other one is B, this example B is like number three right here, where the base is, this, is the same as the base of the log, which is in the exponent. And so these cancel out, and five is our answer to this one. Now I'm going to just very quickly go over this B to the power of log base B of X equals X stuff. So I just want to show you guys why this is the case, all right? So if you don't want to listen to this part of the video, just skip it and move on to some other examples. So the first thing I would want to, want to do is just, I, I want to let the log base b of x just be something that we don't know what it is, right? Like why, okay? Then when I, when I look at this, I can change this expression to b to the power of y. Now again, we don't know what that equals just yet, right? <clears throat> but at the same time from this equation right here, from this logarithmic equation, we can change it to exponential form, which would be b to the power of y equals x. So we know that b to this power of y is x. Well, b to the power of y is b to the power of log base b of x which we've now found to equal x. In other words, I could change this back into b to the power of y, which y was the log base b of x, and this is now equal to x based on what we found up here with these two. Now that may not make a lot of sense, but uh, and, and that's because it kind of cycles through itself many times over, but uh, hopefully that helps you guys understand why base b log to the power of log base b of x equals x.